Hey everyone, Solid Asia, welcome back. So in my last video, I showed you a trick which made games feel more smooth with lossless scaling and locked the frame rate at 60 hertz. But now there is a new update. So all those display resolution changing from Steam settings and sharpness filter is no longer needed anymore to lock the frame rate. Cause the new version of lossless scaling decky plugin now doing a much much better job and working pretty great as it should. As you can already see here, this is how Expedition 33 is running on my Steam Deck. It is pretty much performing at 60 FPS which is just unbelievable judging how poor it performs without LSFG and also my setting is not at low so yeah it's, it is kinda exciting to see. Um, I'll show you in a bit. But first let me quickly show how to install or update the plugin and set it perfectly. Let's dive in. So if you don't have Decky Loader installed already, just visit the GitHub link. You can find it in the video description. I have it already installed, so let's download the LSFG plugin. And this is going to be on download folder here. Now let's go to gaming mode and install it. Okay, open Decky Loader. Now if you already have installed previous version of the plugin, you need to uninstall it before installing the new update. Simply click lossless scaling from here, uninstall LSFG VK, go back, Decky settings, plugins, locate lossless scaling and click this three dot and click uninstall. Now if you are installing fresh new, Make sure you have the developer mode turned on from general here and this developer tab will pop up. Click it, click browse, go to downloads folder where we downloaded the plugin, here it is. Click and install it. Here install LSFG VK, just click it and that's it. Now you must have to have the lossless scaling original app and also it must be installed in your primary internal SSD not on any SD card or external storage otherwise game will not launch and it will just crash so this is important okay now with all that done just follow my lossless scaling settings as I have here and then I'll show you my recommended in-game settings and before we launch any game just copy launch option from here for example, if I want to launch Gotham Knights with lossless scaling, I just have to paste it as a launch option in game properties. Just like I did here. So I have uh, set the game to medium preset and have XESS to performance mode. FPS is unlocked and VSync must be off. The resolution is set to 1152 to 720p and it's in windowed mode and the rest is here yeah that's pretty much it and from steam deck performance tab make sure you have frame limit disabled and set manual gpu clock to 1600 megahertz and tweaking scaling filter is not needed anymore which is perfect but you can still use it if you want to have some sharpness of course This is the prologue level. It is pretty performance hungry because all these details and crowds. It really looks just amazing now on the small screen.
so without lsfg it was around 30 fps and sometimes it dropped even lower especially with the settings i'm playing right now and i was not totally happy with it but now i am maybe she's a prisoner too stuck in the same cycle with us silly huh only you could choose empathy at a moment like this please it's one of the few choices i can make i won't i couldn't do it i promise it's okay Okay, let's uh, load another save with more green and trees where the action happens mostly. Yeah. Here we are. Huh? Yeah. The continent. The indigo trees over there. So um, it is mostly locked at 60 fps and talking about the input lag it is almost unnoticeable for me judging by my timings are not that bad so yeah and honestly sometimes it depends on individual game some games just uh, feels bad with higher input lag and some just plays fine uh, with very minimal which for me never was a huge deal breaker because I know I'm playing it on a handheld and it has its limit. I've always been a PC gamer, so got really comfortable with the keyboard and mouse setup. But after getting Steam Deck, I started experimenting and playing all kinds of games on it because it definitely is a pretty cool piece of tech. I think that's part of why I have developed a bit of extra um, tolerance maybe <laughs> for you know input lag when using a controller honestly that's not a bad thing for me <laughs> it's just how i adapted which is why i have also done many lossless scaling videos in the past with steam deck running windows and now it is finally here uh, on steam deck it's very big deal for me like all of you guys but thanks again to those genius minds pancake Tass and jason derulo who made it happen and you know actively working on it so hard uh, a big shout out to them in the end it really comes down to your personal play style what you are used to and what feels natural to you and that's why i believe no one can truly answer how is the input lag for you you know how bad it is how good it is some people might find it annoying while others barely notice it it all actually depends on your own um, reflexes, I should say. So, there you have it. Anyway, um, hope the video helps and let me know how it's running on your device. Also, if you have any questions, comment. I'll get back to you. Working on more lossless scaling game test and more videos will be here. So, I'll see you soon. If any game not working by default, for example, I have Gotham Knights here, which doesn't work with LSFG unless um, I change the compatibility to Proton Experimental. An expedition works by default, but I am running it with Proton Experimental too, since it is just working well for me. There is a glitch in this game when relaunched with windowed mode. Every time resolution scale gets messed up and these fonts looks like tiny for some reason. So there is no permanent fix at this moment. But what you can do is click D-pad down two times which will focus the settings. Press A, press R1 two times which will bring you to graphics settings. And just press A again which will rescale it back to normal then change the resolution to 1152 to 720p and i would also suggest after loading the game double check the resolution again because sometimes i found that it reverts back to lower resolution so uh yeah hope they fix it soon